Hello, you're welcome to CTV News. I am Delphine Asu. The Catholic Archbishop of Abuja, Most Reverend Ignatius K. Gama, and the Justice, Development and Peace Commission, JDPC, of the Archdiocese of Abuja, have reached out to the internally displaced persons in New Kuchiguru IDP camp in Abuja with food items and other household supplies to help them celebrate the Christmas season. The visit was to tell the IDPs that they are not forgotten, especially during the season of giving and sharing. We bring you the report. For the internally displaced persons of the new Kuchiguro camp, Abuja, the Christmas celebration was a reminder that the society still cares for them. This is so because this year, the Catholic Archbishop of Abuja, Most Reverend Ignatius Kaigama, paid a visit to them and put a smile on their faces. <laughs> This visit was made possible by the Archdiocese and Justice Development and Peace Commission JDPC, and other well-meaning Nigerians who supported the visit with food items. I brought a lot of materials and food items to also share with you. And we as JDPC also added our own to the visit that we have brought. My message to you is that you should share this food even among themselves so that even those who are not here when they come, they can have something to eat and celebrate the Lord Jesus Christ. The Archbishop of Abuja, who is the August visitor to the camp, appreciated all the partners who made the visit successful. This is the spirit of Christmas. We are asked to share. We are asked to show concern to our neighbors. Irrespective of right, irrespective of religion, irrespective of political association. So you can see we are all gathered from different parts. The Ufuk Dialogue Foundation is an Islamic organization. And even Bafi and his members, most of them would be Muslims. But they are here today because our God is one. Yes. And then the justice and peace and the sanitation, all of us working together for your own interest. And we hope that those who are campaigning to the elected governors and president and so on will know we have Nigerians like this. It's not only in Kusimboro, it is in many other places. In Plato, in Nasarawa, in Taraba, we have people who are displaced, dislocated. They don't have anything. So we hope they will give you top priority. He also charged the media to tell the story of the IDPs for government to wake up to their responsibility of caring for the people. The AIT is here, the CTV is here and many others. Please tell the story that these people are here. Let our authorities hear. Let them know they have a duty to look after these people. So I wish you well. Please be organized. Be organized. We have brought you some food items, some material. Be organized. Don't create any confusion. Be orderly and make sure that this food gets to everyone, even no matter how small it is. There were goodwill messages from Society of St. Vincent de Paul, Santa Gidio, Bar Furniture and other partners. High point of the visit was the presentation of food items and other household materials for the IDPs to celebrate the Christmas festivities. Oh, I hope that there is a department in either the federal government or the FCT to take care of people such as this, people displaced. For eight years they have been here, some were born here, they don't know where they come from. They are a lost people. They don't have adequate housing, they don't have enough food, and I hope that a government department should be responsible to monitor their progress and their stay here. It's not enough to acknowledge we have internally displaced people 
in this camp or that camp is not enough. We must monitor what are their medical needs. How are the children growing up here going to be educated? Is there enough water and sanitation? These are questions that government must commission, must entrust to somebody to, to find out. And uh, so I hope that um, in addition to what we are doing, uh, that the government will show more interest in the presence of these people here in the Federal Capital Territory. There is no problem or suffering that is permanent. There must come an end to it. And they too must be disposed to that end. Which is why I encourage them, those for instance, who came all the way from places like Borno, from Borno, where we are, we are hearing that the governor is resettling a lot of them. They could go back and be resettled so that they can engage in other useful economic activities and be able to help themselves better. IDP camps cannot be a permanent feature in any society. Government, on the other hand, must do everything and anything to end, to end this suffering so that people can be uh, rehabilitated. To them, I appeal to them to continue to be peaceful. I appeal to them for even the little that we're sharing with them to ensure that it goes round and not to scramble or fight over them. Gaskia muna gode maku ya enda kuka kamuna wana nkio tang. Gaskia muna gode maku mwini fari nchiki hida ka enda kuka kamuna. Ale saka inda yafita ale saka. Wenda suka bayaru kuma ale saa. Ale basu lafia nchiki wata mwatara nasu kamuna. Muku maku saa mwachikin adua ya enda garimu ya gyaru muma mbawa yensu. In Abuja, Tony Abba, CTV News.